What's up, y'all? I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This is your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, man. Before we get going on our video, smash the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Share the video. Turn on your notifications, and please go follow me on Twitter, at KOBoxing86TV. Also, go check out our live shows. We have live shows every Wednesday. Excuse me, every Wednesday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time, right here on this platform. Every Friday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time, right here on this platform. And every single Sunday morning with the singing OG, KQKC Boxing Network, Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. Central Time, right here on this platform. The Wednesday show is our show where we discuss the hottest topics in boxing. Our Friday show is our breakdown and prediction show where we break down and we predict all the fights for that week. Our Sunday show is the um, recap show where we recap the fights and we discuss some of the hottest topics in, in boxing with the singing OG KQKC Boxing Network. But let's get to this video. So Keith Thurman got a lot to say, man. Keith Thurman and Mario Barrio. So we'll break this video down into two parts. First, Keith Thurman feels like Canelo Alvarez has earned the right to pick and choose his opponents. Secondly, Mario Barrios feels like Keith Thurman is overlooking him and that's a big mistake. Let's break it all down. So, first, the, the Canelo part of it, right? Keith Thurman says, yeah, he's cherry-picking his opponents, but so what? He's Canelo. The people love him. He's got a huge following. He's bought tons of excitement. You can say he's cherry-picked a little bit, but he's kind of learned from the best. He got beat by Floyd, and now he's starting to make money like Floyd. Are there greater challenges out there for Canelo Alvarez? Most definitely. Are there fights that I would truly love to see? Most definitely. Are the super talented individuals that might be able to give him problems? Definitely. But does he have to do any of those things? Absolutely not. Whatever he wants to do, what he likes to do, what makes him want to get out of bed and excited and elevate him, himself and his career, that's what he's going to do. I'm going to leave it at that. And now let's talk about it. So this is another thing to me that's what's wrong with boxing. We did a whole Josh Warrington versus Kiko Martinez video. I highly suggest you go check that out. Because that's a problem. People getting getting opportunities that they don't deserve. You know, nepotism. Because I'm popular. Because I'm a person that sells tickets. I get a world title shot. Forget the fact that I just had a no contest if I'm Josh Warrington. Forget the fact that I was on the way to getting knocked out on that no contest. I was getting tagged earlier than I did by the same fighter that just knocked me out the fight before that. So I'm coming off a no contest. I got my ass knocked out the fight before that. My punishment for that is I get a world title shot. That's what's wrong with boxing. Keith Thurman's notion right here is a problem too. It's a problem too. Number one, cherry picking is absolutely horrible. That's the first thing, no matter who it is. Secondly, the notion that an athlete gets to pick and choose his or her competition it's dead wrong in any sport, bro. It's just, that's not how the shit should work. And for Keith Thurman to say something like that shows a, a, a skewed and warped mindset. And it's one of the problems why, again, to me, for my money, the most entertaining sport, you give me a great fight, it's more entertaining than any sport in the world. The most entertaining sport at his apex is not as popular as it should be because of mindsets and because of notions like this, right? Being able to fight anyone, no. You can't. We pay for your product. Like, at the highest level, fans pay for these subscriptions, whether it's Showtime, The Zone, Pay Per View, whatever it is. We have to pay for that, right? And if you Canelo Alvarez, your last fight was on Pay Per View. If you Canelo Alvarez, I'm pretty sure your next fight is going to be on some form of Pay Per View because he's a free agent now. The Zone don't have no fighters for him. And he ain't going to fight for free on Showtime. And he ain't going to fight for free on Fox. Let's stop it. We all know that We all know that he probably going to be on pay-per-view his next fight. So if we paying for your shit, you don't get to just fight who you want to fight and it's okay. Just like it's not okay for Tank Davis to fight who he want to fight, we, we criticize him. We don't want to see that shit. If you're going to charge me money, I want to see you fight the best. So Keith Thurman is dead ass wrong in this assessment and in this, this, this stuff that he's saying, bro. I don't, I don't like that. I'll never subscribe to that. I don't care who the fighter is. And before y'all hop in my comment section, Floyd Mayweather was dead ass wrong too. Uh, picking and choosing? Nah, we don't, we don't do the pick and choose shit. If you're not fighting the best in your weight class, I'm criticizing you, bro. I, I don't care about none of that. 
None of that A side shit when it comes to that. I don't care about none of that. Um, oh, he popular. He, I don't care, bro. If you're not fighting a good fight, a high level fight, I'm going to criticize that shit, bro. You can just go check the track record. And Canelo Alvarez, he has the power to fight who he wants. And I'm not saying it's one particular fighter that I just want to see him fight. It's a lot of fighters I want to see him fight. It's a lot of fights that he can make that I'm going to be okay with. I'm going to be cool with. I'm going to big up. I'm going to say that's a great fight. It's a lot of them, bro. A lot of them. But being able to fight anyone, like he can pick and choose anyone. Nah, we ain't rocking with that. But he can pick and choose from, from David Benavidez, bring Jamal Charlo up to 168, bring Andre up to 168, Bivol, Baturbiev, Zerto. How many people is that? Charlo, Andre, Benavidez, Bivol, Baturbiev, Zerto. That's six people. Why well, I be like, shit, that's a great-ass fight. And it's more than that, but I don't think they realistic because they ain't done enough. They be like, yo, I'm fighting David Morrell. I'm like, oh, shit, all right. That's a great fight, too. That's a great fight, too. I'm with it. Shit. Oh, Joe Smith Jr. is another one for a championship at 175. Like, ah, he probably the weakest of the champions, but maybe you starting the campaign at 175 and you want to go for undisputed. I'd be great with that fight. It's like seven or eight fights he can make where knockout going to be like, all right, bro, good. But him fighting everyone, Keith Thurman on bullshit with that. That's the first thing. Second thing, Barrio says he's being overlooked by Thurman. He says, uh, what did he say? We're trying to picture what Keith Thurman is going to be in the ring once February 5th, and what, and he wants to prove a point. He wants to get back on track to where he was in the division, but this is my first fight at welterweight, and I'm trying to make my own impact and my own stamp in the division. He might be overlooking me, and if he is, that's a mistake that he's making. Okay. All right. Listen, because Bar I, I feel what Barrios is saying. And I feel like a lot of fans are overlooking Barrios, too. I've heard a lot of people tell me Keith Thurman going to stop him. I got a lot of people telling me that Keith Thurman is going to win and it's going to be handedly and it's going to be something that he's just going to look great doing it. Keith Thurman has always been a very good fighter. Great fighter? I mean, where? Where? Is he a multiple division champion? Does he have... Pound for pound status that I don't know about. Did he? What's his like? He got a a good resume, a very good resume at welterweight. But Keith Thurman has twenty nine fights and he over thirty years old. Like what? What are we talking about? That's the first thing. Second thing, like how did he look in his last fight? How did Keith Thurman look to y'all in his last fight? It's just a question. You tell me in the comment section. When's the last time Keith Thurman fought? So you telling me that Keith Thurman gonna come watch an active fighter who's tough, who at welterweight is what? Maybe a top 25 to, to 35 guy at welterweight in the world? Even though he's never fought at welterweight, you look at what he did at junior welterweight, you look at his boxing skills, Barrios is what? Somewhere between 25 and 40? As a welterweight probably, somewhere in that range? And Keith Thurman, who was once at the top of his game, but Keith Thurman coming off of a 30-month layoff. Tons of injuries. Coming off of not fighting for damn near three years. Are we supposed to believe he's just going to go in there and wash Mario Barrios? We not worried at all about, like, Keith Thurman was a first half of the fight fighter anyway. He would come on, put it on you in the first half, and then cruise to victory. He 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 slowed down at the back half of fights anyway. That shit don't get better the older that you get. That's That don't get better by taking time off from the sport. Keith Thurman's punch resistance to the body was already suspect. It was already suspect. You don't get more punch resistance by not fighting. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out why everybody's so sure and so and so confident in Keith Thurman. That, that that's what I'm trying to figure out. 
So Barrios is right. If Keith Thurman is overlooking, I favor Keith Thurman to win, but if he overlooking Barrios or if he's falling off too much, man, this fight get very interesting, man. It gets very, very interesting. But hey, you know, I'm just a guy on YouTube. I don't really know much. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. I agree with Barrios. If he over if Thurman overlooking him, it's a mistake. And I disagree with Keith Thurman's stance that Canelo Alvarez can do whatever the hell he wants. No fighter, regardless of how much they do in this sport. If you active, if you a champion, you do not just get to do what you want. I'm sorry. I don't care. It's bad for the sport. No other sport can you do that. In every other sport, you're forced to fight the best. It's that simple. Or you're forced to go against the best and compete against the best. And if you're not doing that, fans call you out on this shit. So y'all can count on me to do that. I don't care how popular somebody get. I don't care how big they get. I don't care. Canelo could be undisputed at light heavyweight, super middleweight, cruiserweight. If he's still fighting as an active champion, I'm be like, what's the next best challenge? Javante Davis can go undisputed at 135. He can go up to 140 and go undisputed. I'm gonna be like, what's next? Who you who you get? Who what, what you doing at 147? What's the next challenge? Cause that's how we get to find out how truly great these fighters really are. Earl Spence could could go undisputed at 147, move up to 154, go undisputed. I'm gonna be like, yo, what, what's next? What, what you doing at 160? You going up to 160? Who you fighting? Who who next? What's the next challenge? Who's the next best fight for you? When, as long as these guys are active, we have to hold them to a certain standard of greatness. If we don't, we're cheating the sport when we allowing them to cheat the sport. No one's ever going to be above that shit to me, y'all. Ever. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Comment down below. Smash the like. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video. Turn on your notifications. Please go follow me on Twitter at KOBoxing86TV. If you have a breakdown or a prediction video you want me to do, knockoutboxing 86 at yahoo.com is the email address. Also, live shows Wednesday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Live shows on Friday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. And live shows Sunday morning, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. The live show on Wednesday is always our hot topic show where we discuss the hottest topics in boxing. Live show on Friday is our new breakdown and prediction show. We don't do breakdown prediction videos anymore. We do live shows where we predict all the fights for that week on the live stream. So that's on Friday nights and then live show on Sunday mornings. 9 a.m. Central Time. But I appreciate y'all watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we out of here. Peace, y'all.